Hey, hello fellow Hot Wheels collectors. Ray Screws is known for doing product reviews. Well, I was having a bit of a tidy up today, discovered underneath my uh, drawer side, something that I didn't even know I had. You know when you're rummaging around in boxes you find like, stuff that you didn't realise you had hidden away? Well, I happened to find something that I didn't know I had. I must have brought this years ago, but never played with it. Well. That is until today. Here we have the Express Delivery playset. This is a brilliant little playset that came out in 2002, I think. Yep, copyright 2002, right in the corner there. It does say 2002 underneath the line. I sadly don't have the original car that came with it. I think it was this blue uh, Mega Duty here. As you can see, you've got the very nice 97 Ford F100 there. Very cool car. Now then, the actual product itself is very good indeed. It has a package sorter, which is a function. It has a distribution center, which is basically a swiveling door. Package transporter, a conveyor belt, which still works. A garage to store your one free car. And that is about it. So of course, here's the back of the box. I don't know what that Hot Wheels is though. That's my only main concern. It's some kind of pickup. Again, some absolutely brilliant stuff on here. Now, of course, at this point, Ray Screws would build it. Well, it took me a while to build it myself, but I've already built it anyway. So, uh, naturally, of course, all right, this is where he'd be building it. Well, I've pre-made it. That's a very nice set indeed. It is very basic, but it is very nice. I mean, it's sort of like very basic, but yeah. So again, you have your nice sort of little storage garage here, which of course naturally lifts up. No car in there. I thought it might have been in there, but nope. But again, that's where you would store your car. It's a very nice little play set, this. As you can see, if you just look into there, you might just be able to see it. This moves in the three-hole section there. As you can see, that little blue thing there, that will possibly manoeuvre the boxes down there. And what are the boxes, you say? These cute, sweet little things here. These are very nice indeed. And of course at the back, just on top of there, you have the little conveyor belt. This little bit here is a moving conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt inside all manoeuvres and stuff. You get some nice little uh, switches or some nice little signs and flags here as well. Again, someone who originally did make this didn't do a very good job on the stickers, but again, it doesn't matter. It just looks the part. Okay, it's got little barb things here. It's got a little no-through zone here. Again, this is 2002, and this is a very nice little product. Okay, now to officially show you off the little conveyor belt thingy. Okay, so we're going to select the uh, Fandango uh, system, or the Fandango... Uh, thingy here. I haven't got a truck at hand, so we shall see if this wants to work. It slots in beautifully, and it should. Once it gets to the end there, let us see. There it goes, beautifully. Works perfectly. Now you would, of course, naturally have a truck there or something. Again, they're a little bit high, but like I say, you can pretend that sort of like once it slides out. A truck comes in to pick it up. Yeah, and it is absolutely brilliant, this. It's a nice little play set. In fact, I do actually have some cars here that I've got some loose, so let's have a look then. Okay, so you've got some nice little parking areas here. The parking areas aren't exactly very good. They're very small. So perhaps maybe they're meant for smaller cars. But you definitely would have to double park here. I mean, this second bit here, it's all these guardrails. That's the only main problem with them. I'm having to hold this up. Whee! Well, that happens sometimes. Just goes to show you how good the set is if the cars roll off them. I'll grab another one here. Very nice Nissan Skyline. Yep. As you can see, you've got some general parking here. So this is where you'd load up for the conveyor belt to work. And what did I do with that little package? Oh, I did put it away. Got a little ramp here as well, so that when the cars get distributed, they can run off and connect to other play sets as well. And again, you've got the nice little parking bays here. Which again are very, very small indeed, only just able to fit the one car in there. Let's 
lift up the garage front here. Ooh, it's a bit stiff. There we go. Okay, the car goes in there perfectly. So you'll be able to play with it. As you can see underneath, you've got the little storage thingy there. So you'd always know there's a car in there, but as you can see, that is nicely secured in there. So you could basically take this with you and not worry about uh, having to put your cars or pockets in there. Overall, for a little playset, this is extremely nice. I haven't actually seen this. I forgot I even had this. But again, I am glad I have got this. Uh, my product rating on this is, if you can find one, definitely pick one up. These little play sets are extremely nice to find. It did take a little bit of assembly because I haven't got the instruction booklet. Again, instruction booklets do get lost, so it's just literally a bit of guesswork from the box. But again, like I say, this has been fully made and I'm quite happy with it. There's slight wear and tear on the stickers, but other than that, it is good. And it comes with a box as well, which is brilliant. So that is an absolutely brilliant product and an absolutely brilliant item to have. That might be my only review because uh, I don't find the playset that often. I have no idea how much I paid for that. I definitely I didn't buy it from new in 2002. Like I say, might have been sort of like a car boot sale item find or general find at sort of some charity shop paid a couple of quid for it. I don't know. But again, overall, that is an absolutely brilliant set. And well, just to make sure, uh, you should get five small little orange packages. You should get five of those. If you get less, then that means that they've lost them. Also as well, it did have a um, warning of small child for choking hazards, because these are a choking hazard to a child. There's other bits on there that might also be a choking hazard. So, again... For an absolutely brilliant product, this is a very fun set. And again, it is a bit dusty because, well, it's been sitting underneath my bed for God knows how long. Again, I think the original car that came with it was the Mega Duty. It's an absolutely lovely package, this. But I do have to admit that one of the main things that does impress me is the fact that I have this. But again, it is all complete, other than the instruction manuals. But again, they get lost. Thanks for watching, that was an absolutely brilliant uh, product review, and it's a great product. Definitely if you can find one, go out and buy it and uh, play with it yourself. Until next time, see ya.